so today I am going to be looking through uh, another collection of pictures that I have taken over the last maybe year or so of all different hearts found in some um, unexpected places. So I'm just going to be clicking through the pictures and I'll explain what each one is. Okay. So let me get to the right spot here. All right. So this here is the very first one. And this is a bowl of soup. Um, we had ordered some, I guess it was Chinese food, and this is the broth and the leftover little scallions. I think that's what this is right here. So if you can see right here, not sure how clear it is, hopefully you can see it. This little heart-shaped onion floating in the soup. And so I thought, well, I'm going to have to start taking pictures of any hearts. Let's see if I find some more. And, um, and I started to find more. So one place that was easy to find heart-shaped um, images are on flowers or plants. So this is a clover, and you can see I've, I've never really noticed that all of the leaves on a clover are heart-shaped. And this one was pink, so I thought, well, that's perfect. It's heart and it's red or pink, so... That was a pretty easy little, more of a not surprising place to find um, a heart shape. And, and so let's move on to the next. The next here is a cloud. And, um, you might be able to see. I hope that looks like a heart to you. Um, it was more close together and more formed into the shape of a heart, but you know how clouds are, and this one just started to uh, spread apart before before I was able to grab my phone and take a picture, so but I think it still looks a lot like a heart. So that was a pretty one. And the next one here, this is a bowl sitting in the dish drainer. And you can see there's a little chip that must have come off of the bowl somehow. Got bumped or something. And to me it looks like the shape of an up upside down heart. It's not exact, but I can see it. Can you see it? All right, so here we have some more food. You can see here this is a bowl of, this is quinoa and spinach. And this, I'm not sure if that is a red onion or if it's a beet, but it is a heart, right? Could be either one. Probably it's a beet. It looks like a little piece of a beet to me, but... So, lots of, um, lots of different places to find these little hearts. Uh, let's see, what is the next one? Alright, so the next couple 
couple pictures here are of um, different pieces of wood, like wood furniture. And this one here, these little knots, maybe I think they're called? I don't know. Um, some of them had the shapes of a heart. Some of them looked like hearts to me. I think this one did used to look like more of a heart, and I don't know why it doesn't look as much like one to me now, but a little bit. It looks like it was a circle almost, and it just got this little shape at the top there. It looks like a heart. And then I think I put all of the pictures of wood together. So the next one here, this one looks a little bit clearer. Yeah, this one is much easier to see. You can see it's a very clear picture, very clear heart there. And it's dark in color, so it's easy to see. And let's see the next one. This one. Not as much, but if you look, it sort of looks like a little upside-down heart right there. Okay, now this one will be hard to see. But if you look closely, right here, it's hard to see because it's the same color as the background. But this is a drop of paint. I think I was painting in the bathroom. And a drop of paint had fallen into the sink. And it looks like a heart to me. <laughs> I guess it's easy to uh, find the shape of a heart because it's not too complicated of a shape. So. Okay, now this next one here. Here, this, I'm really not sure if this, this is a rug, it's like a throw rug, and I don't know if maybe my daughter actually drew this heart, or it was some sort of accident. I can't tell what that is, if it's marker or something else. But she did go through a time where she was drawing hearts all over everything in the house. In my car, on the walls. I still find little, little hearts hidden in places, so. But I tried not to include any of those because um, I wanted to show pictures that were not manipulated at all. I didn't make any of these, you know, to be in the shape of a heart. They were ones I just sort of found naturally in places. This one here is hard to see, too. I don't know if you can see the heart that I see. Um, this is a wall. I don't remember where this is. It might be at my house. And it's just like a spot maybe of a, I don't know if it's dirt, to me looks like the outline of a heart. I can see it, not sure if you can. And then the next one here, this is a car uh, brake lights. And can you see the sort of tilted heart there? Looks like a red heart. Now this one was pretty cool. This one does look like I would have done that purposefully, but I didn't. I was walking down my steps and my daughter's roller skates were at the bottom of the steps and the laces were somehow in 
the perfect formation of a heart. And um, I don't think she would have done that either because I really think it was just an accident. So that one was pretty cool and it's pink. And let's see the next one. one here we'll look at. Now this here is um, part of the inside of my car. This is like the little compartment that pops down from the ceiling and you put like your sunglasses in there. But can you see the heart right here? To me it looks like a heart. I don't know. Or it did. It doesn't look as much of, it doesn't look as much like a heart as it used to. I don't know what I was seeing. Well, maybe you see it. It did look like a heart. <laughs> Alright, so let me move on to the next one. And this one's pretty obvious. This is on my desk. And you can see it's um, like a landline phone, and here is the cord, and it's a incomplete heart, but it's there, but it is there, so I like that one. And this one you may think would be manipulated also, but not. And where's the next one here? This next one may be a little hard to see. Oops. Okay, so this is just looking out of um, sitting at my desk. There's a window up right in front of my desk and you can see on the screen somehow a little piece of like I don't know if that's a twig or leaf that must have broke off from the tree or just was flying around somehow or maybe a bird put it there you can see there's another little piece right there maybe during like a storm or something the wind blew that over there and it looks like a heart. I'm not sure if it's still there or not. I think it's gone now. Okay, so this next one here. This is a, um, a cork board. It's like a um, bulletin board. What do you call them? that you hang little reminders and papers on with thumbtacks. So I bet there's a whole lot of different hearts you can find in here in this cork type material. I think this is the one that caught my eye right there, but I guess you could probably find a whole bunch of, look here's one, a little irregular shaped hearts everywhere. It's another one. There's lots of hearts here. So that's pretty. And let's see, here's another one that's pretty cool. So this here, this one was sitting on my desk. This is a ruler. And from the angle that I was sitting, um, this little hole, now if you look at it straight down, it just looks like a round hole. But because of this little um, dip in the wood there, when you look at it from a different angle, it looks like a heart. So I started really seeing them and just noticing them everywhere.
and just a couple more again as I was sitting at my desk uh, this one caught my eye this is some for some reason I happen to have a dart in my cup holder for pens and pencils and you can see I never noticed it the top of the the dart looks like a heart So that's a little unexpected there. And I just have two more. And this one, this one is another plant. So I noticed, like I said, plants are sort of naturally come in heart shaped, with heart shaped leaves. Uh, this one right here, from the angle where I was sitting really looks like a heart so I guess it just depends on how you're looking at it yeah. if you look at it a certain way then it looks a little different and the last one I think is the most recent. I must have been sewing something. Can't figure out what that is though. What was I sewing? Um, but this looks like a little piece of like um, leftover thread that maybe I cut off at the end and it decided to fall into the shape of a sideways heart. If you can see that there. So I thought that one was pretty cool. And so I think I had a lot more pictures, but I got rid of them. Um, I don't know which one's my favorite. I like the soup one. And like the cloud. It's pretty cool. I think the roller skates are pretty cool. That's a good one. And the car light. And the phone cord I think is cool. And the roller. And I like the piece of thread. Those are my favorites. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope, um, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing these pictures. I hope it wasn't too boring or silly, but I just uh, started noticing all these little hearts. So. Thank you for watching. I hope it's not too long until my next video. Thank you.